Did you know that the patron saint of refugees is St Alban? I think we could probably include migrants and immigrants under his patronage as well. And that's very interesting because St Alban was also the patron saint of the seminary, which I attended many years ago in Spain. And there's a good reason why he was patron saint. And that was because Alban was known for sheltering a priest who was fleeing from Roman persecution and he helped him escape. And for his good deed, Alban was martyred, was executed. And our seminary was founded in Spain at a time when Catholics in England were being persecuted. So the seminary provided a safe place, a safe haven for young men from England to prepare for the priesthood before being ordained and returning to the mission in England, where many of them were martyred. Anyway, more of St Alban later, but just to say that refugees and migrants have a very good friend and intercessor in heaven in St Alban. You could say they could certainly do with a few more powerful friends here on earth. Refugees and migrants have been much in the news in, the, in recent weeks, especially those crossing the English Channel in boats. And there has sometimes been a rather negative reaction to them. You've probably heard them referred to as illegal migrants, or worse. Can people be illegal? When we think of the people in the boats, there are many children among them. Are they illegal? The words we use are important because they express an attitude or help form the opinions of others. To describe people as illegal is not only inaccurate, it's pejorative. As Christians, we believe in the value of each and every person. We believe that each one of us is made in the image and likeness of God and that every life is sacred. It's a basic tenet of Catholic teaching, Catholic social teaching. And there are, of course, many people of other faiths and none who believe in the unassailable dignity of the human person. But as Catholics, hopefully our Catholic faith and teaching helps inform our moral sense and our attitude towards our neighbour in need. Going back a couple of generations, my ancestors were immigrants on my father's side from Ireland and on my mother's side from Italy. And I think you can probably tell which side of the family I take after. I expect many of us can say something similar about our ancestors being immigrants. They were looking for a better life for themselves and for their families. Many of these people coming over in the boats now are escaping war or persecution or abject poverty. Wouldn't we look for a better life if we were in their situation? One reason you sometimes hear for not helping or welcoming is that, well, we have our own people to look after. How can we possibly look after these hundreds, these thousands more? Well, it's true. We have so many needs on our doorstep and we should respond to those needs. But because we are compassionate to one group of people doesn't mean that we can't be compassionate to another. We only have one heart. Is it a compassionate heart? In St. Matthew's Gospel, Jesus teaches us to welcome the stranger, shelter the homeless. In Catholic teaching, it is a corporal act of mercy. We need to be reminded the vast majority of refugees and migrants are accommodated by the world's poorest countries. We're only thinking of a relatively very small number. A few days ago, I saw a notice and it showed a picture of migrants in a choppy sea. And the question was, what is the difference between these migrants in the boat and you? And the answer was luck. So like St. Alban, we can all become patron saints who protect the weak, welcome the stranger and speak out against injustice. So let us pray to St. Alban. And yes, we Catholics do still pray to the saints. O generous St. Alban, you took in and kept safe a holy priest who was fleeing persecution and you were martyred for your faith. 
Look kindly upon all who are fleeing persecution or are seeking refuge if for any reason. Ask the Lord to send angels to protect them and keep them safe from harm. Pray for them, dear saint, that they will have the strength, courage and assistance they need to faithfully live each day in unfamiliar places far from their homes. Pray that the Lord blesses them with all the help and assistance they need to adjust to new environments and cultures and with hope for a better future. Amen. You can find some more prayers and resources on our Caritas page on the Plymouth Darson website. God bless you.